Amin, who is the better fit, Markel Fultz or Jackson? I'm going to go with Fultz. I think Fultz does two things. One, it allows Isaiah Thomas to focus on scoring and not playmaking because Fultz is more of a pure playmaker. But also, we know that Isaiah Thomas next year is going to be a free agent. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be able to command mm -hmm. a pretty penny. And so if there's any doubt in Danny Ainge's heart about, do I want, do I want to pay him all that money? Right. And he leaves... You got the heir apparent right there, as opposed to if you have Josh Jackson, and if Isaiah Thomas leaves, now you need a point guard. Well, here's the thing about Josh Jackson is the one word you always hear about him is that kid is tough. And you look at what he can do defensively. Like, he's not a grown man yet, so I don't want to even put him in a conversation as a guy who could guard a LeBron James, but that is what the Celtics need, right? They need a guy who can try to man. do something against LeBron. He's too young right now. I don't think we can talk about that in that, that year. So I'm kind of with you and me in the sense that they probably they need a playmaker before they need – the defensive stopper, but Josh Jackson is a tough kid, and that's well, a lot of people like They him, already but. have Jay Crowder, and they have the young kid coming off the mm -hmm. bench. Uh, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, who's yeah. going to be a stud in this yeah. league with his toughness and what he provides. So I, I, I would go with Markel Fultz. I mean, the guy is 6'4", 6 6'5". 6 I think with his size being the point guard and, and, and what, you know, the point guards bring in this league with size, athleticism, yeah. I think he has that. And we just don't know what they want to do with Isaiah Thomas. Do you want to give him that 200 Well, that's, what, that's, that's what's key. interesting to me. I don't think you're going to learn anything about Isaiah Thomas next year that you don't already know. Right. I think we that's understand right. what Isaiah Thomas can bring to the table, both in terms of the locker room and the heart of the team, and then on the court in both directions. So if I'm Danny Ainge, before I make this pick, I'm making that decision. Right. Am I going to max I'm, him I'm next great. year? Because if you are, that's one course. If you're not, that's another yes. course. You might want a different kind of player. I, I think that that's going to be an early build that is due. Even if he maxes him, though, I still think Fultz is a better fit. That's fine. But yeah. you, I, I don't think you wait and make that decision at right. the end of next season. Right. I think you know now. You know what you know, right? You know what you can get him for.